Hello, friends. It's getting warmer, and spring has come to Norway. Ha! <laughs> Fantastic. Now here's the really springy thing I like to show you. A caterpillar. How do you like that? Now look at it. Oh, it's got little horns on the on top there, and oh, decorated all around with nice patterns. Now isn't that cute? Now. You do know what a caterpillar transforms itself into, right? A butterfly. So this is a caterpillar butterfly pencil case. And here's what you need to make it. A kitchen roll. Or you can use two toilet rolls and tape them together or glue them together. But a kitchen roll is really good toilet roll and it needs to be small enough to fit into the kitchen roll like this and a piece of pink paper a small piece of cardboard glue some paints ruler pencil cutting knife a bit of tape sandpaper fine uh, fine grain and what else uh, yeah, brushes, brushes. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, let's get started. You start with the kitchen roll. Now you need to cut it to the size of your pencil. So if your pencils are this long, you need to make a mark, giving it a little bit of slack. So about that big, that's your pencil case. Then, you also need uh, to cut a ring that is about 2 cm long there. So when you cut cut, you'll end up with one piece that long and then a ring that is this long. The last part you don't need. So this is your starting uh, point. Now you need then to add a lid. One for here and actually one for here too. So from the cardboard, you trace this circle, this circle. You cut these out so you get two of these. And then you glue one on here and one on here. Now that I've <laughs> already done. Now, look at what I've done. I have also uh, fine cut the edges and then sanded it a bit with sandpaper so that this uh, lid is all nice, so the edges are nice and smooth. You do the same thing on this side. Then you need to fit this on to the toilet roll. So it goes on here, mm, nice fit, but it's a little bit slack. We need to uh, tighten it up and we do that by adding some tape along the edge of the toilet roll and you add as much as you think you'll need to uh, make up for the slack. So I'm going to try three rounds and see uh, if it fits. That's one, that's two and three. So I cut it off there. Okay, let's try. Uh, still a bit slack. I'm gonna add one more round. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, yes, that's very good and solid. Now, let's glue this on. I spread it on the inside of this little lid and then I stuff this in. There. Now, while that is drying, I have cut here a little ring uh, out of the bit that was left over remember left over from the from the main toilet roll so here's a little ring i open it and then i fit this inside here let's see um it overlaps a little bit there so i need to cut that off so i make a mark then i trim off that li that little bit there now it's a little shorter let's see if it fits Oh yeah, just perfect. Now let's glue it on. There, just position it right along the edge of the toilet roll. Great, now that's our uh, pencil case 
uh, inner construction or the butterfly if you wish. Okay, this needs to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to paint this one and this one. This one is the same. <laughs> this is a dry version of this one. <laughs> so I'm now going to paint these starting with uh, bright green for the caterpillar, giving it an even coat. Now when that's dry, uh, I'm adding one more layer to make it totally uh, even and you know a thick rich color looking like this. Now let's have a look at this one. This one is now finished painted. I've even painted a little white inside. Can you see that? A little white inside and then two coats of green on the outside. Then let's paint this one. We start with green at the base. So it's the base and as well as the little edge. We kind of fill up that, that little gap with paint. I'm painting just a little bit for you to see how I'm doing it. And then I'm going to continue with the next color. Okay, so green at the base. Then I paint pink all the way down to there and all the way up. And then when that's dry, I use white and I take a little bit of, uh, uh, like make a little white stripe along the edge. So you end up with looking like this. Now this one is painted twice. That means that's two layers, two layers and two layers. Now that takes a little time because you need to dry in between. So that's why I did it really fast like this, just to show you. Now this is what you're after. And onto this one, we're going to make the cut for the mouth. So we used a ruler measuring 3 cm from the top there and about 1.5 cm. So we make a little, a little line for the mouth, straight as possible, like that. And the measuring 1.5 cm, so that's roughly about here to there. Then we make the cut, holding it really steady. Straight cut, take it nice and slowly until you are through there. Just getting rid of the pencil marks and then we push in the mouth. It helps to use a small object like a little, um, the handle of a brush. Open the mouth like this. There, now we've got an opening for the mouth. Next, we paint the round white face. Just a little bit below the mouth and Roughly about up to here. While this is drying, I'm going to add the tiny little spots. There. Now, this needs to dry for a little while. Now it's all dry and I have put two layers of uh, white onto the face to get uh, to um, cover properly. Then we paint in the mouth. Okay, there is the mouth and then the eyes. For the eyes I use purple and a very small brush to get that fine point. Two little dots. Oh, cute! Then we put it over here to dry and then the caterpillar. First we need to cut the mouth. So the same thing, we measure 3 cm from the top, that's the mouth. And then about 2 cm wide. Right, that's the size of the mouth and we cut. Okay, now push the mouth open. Nice one. Then let's paint in the eyes. There. Next, the white stripe along the belly, going a bit zigzaggy down like this. There. And some of those white spots around the body. A couple of small ones. There. Now we can paint in the mouth. There. Now 
Let's try this for a few minutes. Next, we do all the rings. First, there are the, the rings around the eyes. Actually, this is easier if you put it down like this, because then you can rest your hand on top of it as well. One purple ring and one pink ring. Let's make it nice, colorful and cheerful. I'm making the pink ring a bit thicker than the purple ring, just for fun. And pink pupils. Then I continue with the purple rings for the, the legs. These are the tiny little legs coming down the body of the um, caterpillar. And a spot in the middle. Then rings around the, the white spots on the back. Some can be purple, others can be pink. On top of the head we have the, uh, the antennas, the horns or whatever you want to call them. One pink one and a purple one. Now let's uh, put this away to dry. In the meantime, let's do the wings for our butterfly. Now the wings are basically heart shapes such as these. So now we need to make two heart shapes out of this piece of pink paper. So you start with drawing one, roughly about this size. Then you need to check if it's roughly the right size for, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, refine the shape of this one a bit. And then we cut it out. Of course, here you can use a scissors if that's what you prefer. Then you erase the pencil marks and then you put it next to it, next to this. Trace it so that both your hearts are exactly the same size. Then you cut that out too, so you end up with two equal hearts like this. Now, to put them on, we need to fold the gluing lug, and that's about here. So you fold them here, and then you test it to see if it's the right size. You see, it goes on there on the side. And then when you, when you close the wing, it should cover the eye, but not both the eyes. You should just cover one eye. So we need to adjust it a bit. Cover one eye, a bit there, cover one eye. Yep, yeah. now it covers one eye. That's perfect. That's where you want to put it. So mark this uh, spot here. It's roughly about there. Put on a bit of glue, not too much. Spread it out a bit, and then you put it by the mark. That's the spot. Yeah, cover one eye, that's perfect. Now you may leave it uh, just pink like this, or if you want to, like I have on mine, put on some little hearts there. I advise that you do that before you glue them on. Then you fold it, the same as the other one. Test it, see if the right positioning there. That's perfect. Testing. Yeah, rub on it a bit to make sure that it sticks. And then, when everything is dry, you may want to add a little bit of lacquer. Now, you don't have to do that, but you know, on mine, I always like to, if you look at this one, this is um, shiny and um, glossy surface. That's what I like. And it also helps to protect your butterfly against dirt or, you know, uh, or damage. Just like that. Then, of course, get your favorite pencils, put it inside, and then now you see, now you can play with it. You can play peekaboo. Close the eyes. Whee! Peekaboo! <laughs> and then take your caterpillar when you're finished. This is where you know how you put it, uh, you know, at home or when you're on your desk at school. When you finish for the day, you finish drawing, just peekaboo. Close the eyes and this goes in your uh, school bag or put it wherever you like. It's very solid, it, uh, it lasts for a long time and it's just the coolest, cutest pencil case ever. Ooh, peekaboo!